Making a 3D animation movie used to be difficult and time consuming. You need to use a complex software, have a powerful computer and spend a lot of time to render the final video. But now, using AI, you can create a full 3D animation movie using any computer in just a few hours. I spent just a couple of hours creating this animated movie in a realm where dreams take flight. Meet Ella, a dreamer who stumbles upon a hidden secret. Guided by curiosity, Ellis discovers a portal, a gateway to the unknown. Wow, is this real? With heart full of courage, she steps into the unknown. Welcome to the Enchanted Grove. Only those with open hearts can find us. Oh my god, this is incredible. Ellis discovers a true power. You have the magic within you. Ellis' eyes light up and she smiles in awe. The portal closing behind her, but she carries a magic with Now You can also make a movie like this very easily. I'm Brian from Upside Learners and let's get started. We are going to create a 3D animation movie in just three parts. The first part is to create the scenes for our movie. To do that, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to get a story. If you already have a story for your movie, you can skip this step. But if you don't have one, you can use an AI tool to get a story for our movie. So just click the link below this video and it'll take you to gravityright.com. Now click start here. Then click on this drop down and select AI film script writer. Then fill in these details and click create content. As you can see, Gravity Red has generated a story for our movie and it's a fantasy story in which someone discovers a lost portal that transports them to another world. Once you have this story, it's time to transform it into an animated movie. However, we don't have the AI tool to generate videos directly. Instead, we can get images using AI, then convert them into videos. Let's go to the second step, which is to get images for our movie. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Midjourney, but it's a paid tool. However, if you prefer a free tool, you can try some other tools like Playground AI, ClipDrop, Stable Diffusion and Leonardo, which lets you generate the same images. This will help us to generate images for our movie and to get it, just click the link below this video and it will take you to midjourney.com. Now quickly sign in and it will take you to the dashboard. To generate the images, we need to enter the prompt here. So let's type slash imagine prompt. On Midjourney, we need to give the exact prompt and only then it will generate the right output. On Gravity Write, there's an option called AI Image Generation Prompts that gives you specific prompts. So let's go to Gravity Write, copy the story, then click on AI Image Generation Prompts and paste the story here. Now enter these details and click Create Content. You can see that we have got the prompts. Now let's copy the first prompt, then come back to mid journey, paste it here and press enter. As you can see, it has generated our first image. In the same way, you can paste the remaining prompts and get all the images. You can see that we have got a character's face in this image. Similarly, we will generate the other images. You can see that it has generated another image, but this time, if you notice, the face of this character is slightly different compared to the first one. In order to get this character's face, all you have to do is click on the image of the character, then right click on it, and then click on copy image address. Then go to this image, click on vary region. And at the beginning of the prompt, paste the image address that we copied. Now to change the face, click on this option. Then using your mouse, select the face portion like this. Once you're done, click on the arrow. And you can see that we have got a character's face in this image. To save the image, just right click on it and save it to your computer. Similarly, you can save all the other generated images. Okay, we have now successfully used Midjourney to generate images for our movie. Okay, 
So now that we have generated the images for our movie, we need to convert these images into videos. So let's go to the third step, which is to convert the image into a video. To do that, we're going to use a free tool called Runway ML. So just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this website. To get started, first we need to create an account on Runway. So let's click here, then log in with your Google account and you will get this page. Now to convert the image into a video, just choose this option and then here you can upload your own animated images that you generated from Midjourney. So let's click here, then choose the image and click generate. Now if we click play, you can see that our image has been converted into an animated video. To download this video, just click here and it will be downloaded. In the same way, we will convert all the other images into videos. So just delete the old image and upload the second one. Once you have converted all the images into videos, when you look at the video, you can see that it has a few glitches and also the facial expressions are not that good. This will make our movie look bad. So to improve the quality of this video, we need to remove all these glitches. So let's go to the second part of this video where we'll see how you can improve the quality of our videos. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Think Diffusion. Now on Think Diffusion, you cannot upload videos directly as it only supports images. So to remove all the glitches from our video and improve its quality, first we need to convert the video into images. To do that, we're going to use a free tool called Online Convert. So just click the link below this video and it will take you to this website. Now click Choose File. Then select the video which has the glitches, click open and click start. As you can see, it has converted a video into images frame by frame. Now to download all these images in one go, click here and all the images will be downloaded as a zip file. Once it is downloaded, let's right click on it, then click extract all and click extract. You can see, we have got our images. Now you can easily upload all these images into Think Diffusion to remove the glitches and fix the facial expressions. So to do that, just click the link below this video and it will take you to thinkdiffusion.com. Now click on try for free and you can use any one of these plans but only for around 20 to 30 minutes. After that, you need to pay and use it. I'm going to choose this one, so let's click launch, then sign up with your Google account. And again click launch. Once you're here, you can see that the timer has started which means we can use it for 23 minutes for free. So here let's upload all the images we extracted and to do that click on extras, then click batch process, then click here, select all the images and click open. You can see that all our images have been uploaded here. Once it is uploaded, we need to change a few settings, so let's click here, then choose 4x ultra sharp, then change these 4 values to 1. Once you have done that, click on generate, and as you can see, we have got the output. Now to download all these images at once, click here, then go to outputs, next to extra images, click this zip file icon, and all the images which are here will be compressed into a zip file. To download it, click here and it will be downloaded to your computer. Next, let's quickly extract the zip file. Once it is extracted, finally we can convert all the images back into a video. To do that, we're going to use the same tool called Runway. So let's go back there. So let's go here, click generate videos and click frame interpolation. With frame interpolation, we get smooth transitions between our images which will make the video flow more smoothly. So to convert all these images into a video, just click here, then select all the images, click open and all your images will be uploaded. Now here you can see that by default the duration is set to 10 seconds. Since the video clip we generated for this scene is only 4 seconds long, I am going to change it to 4 and click generate and the images will be converted into a video. Now if we play the video, you can see that all the glitches have been removed. Once you're happy with the output, we can go ahead and download this video. So just click on export 
then click here, change the video resolution to 720p and again click export. Then click here. Now just right click on the video and click download. And once you have downloaded it, here you can see a preview of how we have improved the video quality. So let's play both the videos. And you can see that compared to the previous video, this video doesn't have any glitches and it is clear. Okay, now if you find any glitches in any other scenes, you can easily remove them by following the same steps we just did right now. Once you're done, we will have all the scenes ready for our 3D animation movie. Now, you can combine all the scenes together and make a complete movie. So let's go to the final part of this video, which is to edit our animation movie. So to edit it, we're going to do four steps. The first step is to add a dialogue and the lip sync for our animated characters. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Lalamu. Lalamu is a great tool where you can add dialogues and it'll lip sync the character's lips to the dialogue. Also, it's free to use. So to get started, just click the link below this video and click on start. Then click here. Select your video and click open. And your video will be uploaded. Now just click add new audio. And here we need to add the dialogue for this scene. So to get the dialogues, just go to gravity, right? And you can see that along with the story, it has generated dialogues as well. So let's copy this dialogue for this particular scene. Then come back to Lalamu. Paste it here. Now select the voice model you want. And if you click here, you will get different options to select an emotion. I'm going to choose this one and click generate audio. Now here you can see we have different pre-made audios to choose from. So just play the audio, then select the one you want. I'm going to choose this one. Is this real? And if we click on generate lip sync video. Is this real? You can see that the lip sync is done and it looks pretty good. Once you're happy with the output, just right click on the video, then click here and your video will be downloaded. In the same way, you can add dialogues and get the lip sync for all the other characters too. Once you're done, we can go to the second step, which is to combine all the scenes together and edit them. To do that, we're going to use a free online tool called Clip Champ. So just click the link below this video, then click here and sign in with your Google account. Now to combine all these scenes, let's click create new video. Now select all your video clips, drag it and drop them here. So let's select the first scene for our video. Then drag it and drop it into this track here. In the same way, you can add all the other scenes one by one. You can also play and see the preview of the video. During the preview, you would have noticed that we needed to add voiceovers for particular scenes. So let's go to the third step, which is to add voiceovers to the scenes. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Levin Labs, which generates voiceovers for the text you provide. Basically, it converts the text into audio. So just click the link below this video and click get started for free. Then sign up with your Google account and it'll take you to this dashboard. Now, if you click here, you will get different pre-made voices to choose from. So just listen to all the voices and select the one you like. Allow the world to live as it chooses. What worries you masters you? Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. I'm going to choose this one. Now here we need to add the dialogues. So let's go to gravity, right? Copy the dialogue. Come back here and paste it. Once you're done, click generate. And now if you play the audio in a realm where dreams take flight, you can hear that it sounds realistic and feels as if a real person recorded it. Now you can download it by clicking here. Once you have generated them, next let's add the voiceovers to our movie. So just go back to Clipchamp. Then drag and drop the audio files which we just generated. Now drag and drop the first audio file here. Then place it where you prefer. Then let's do the same for the other audio files. Once you're done, if we play the movie. 
in a realm where dreams take flight. You can see that it has perfectly synced with our scenes. Now, if you want to adjust the volume of the audio, all you need to do is just select the audio file, then click here, drag the slider like this, and if we play the movie, in a realm where dreams take flight, meet Ella, a dreamer who stumbles upon a hidden secret. You can hear that it sounds good. Similarly, we can add voiceovers to all the remaining dialogues. Okay, now our 3D animated movie is almost ready, but it's still missing something. So let's go to the fourth step, which is to add background music. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Pixabay, which has a huge library of stock and copyright free music to choose from. So just click the link below this video, then click this drop down, select music, and search for the music you want to add. I'm going to search for Magical Forest. And now you can play any of these tracks and select the one you like. I'm going to choose this one which will suit our 3D animated movie perfectly. So let's download it by clicking here. And once you have got the music, let's go to Clipchamp. Then drag and drop the music here. After that, drag the music from here and drop it on this track. Now if you want, you can trim it like this so that it plays only during particular scenes. Also, if you want to reduce the volume, you can click here and reduce it. Now if we click play. In a realm where dreams take flight. Meet Ella, a dreamer who stumbles upon a hidden secret. You can see that the background music is perfectly synced with our movie. In the same way, we will add background music to other scenes too. Once you have done that, we can go ahead and download it. So just click export, then select the video quality you want. I am going to choose this one. The now movie will be exported. And to save the movie to your computer, click here. Then click save. And your movie will be saved to your computer. In a realm where dreams take flight. Meet Ella, a dreamer who stumbles upon a hidden secret. When we play the movie, you can see the quality is a little bit low. Now to increase its quality, there's an app on the Play Store called WeMake, where we can easily increase the quality of the video for free. So let's go to the Play Store, then search for WeMake, install this app, and click Open. Now click on Image Quality, click Ultra HD, and click Try Now. So select the movie, and you can see that it has improved the quality of our video. Also, you will get these options to see how it looked before and after. Once you're happy with the output, let's go ahead and save this video. A dreamer who stumbles upon a hidden secret. Guided by curiosity, Ella discovers a portal, a gateway to the unknown. Wow, is this real? A dreamer who stumbles upon a hidden secret. Guided by curiosity, Ella discovers a portal, a gateway to the unknown. Wow, is this real? Okay, so we have now successfully increased the quality of our video and you can clearly see how the video quality has been increased from this to this. Now you can play and watch the full 3D animation movie. In a realm where dreams take flight. Meet Ella, a dreamer who stumbles upon a hidden secret. Guided by curiosity, Ellis discovers a portal, a gateway to the unknown. Wow, is this real? With heart full of courage, she steps into the unknown. Welcome to the Enchanted Grove. Only those with open hearts can find us. Oh my god, this is incredible. Ellis discovers a true power. You have the magic within you. Ellis' eyes light up and she smiles in awe. The portal closing behind her, but she carries a magic within her. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can create a 3D animated movie using AI. And I've given you all the links that you need in the description below. So go ahead and check it out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. 
I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.